What the? F what are you doing? <laughs> I was just hanging out at the Atomic Wrangler. <laughs> they have a great robot prostitute there. <laughs> Who invited Hope? I invited Hope because we're taking three lovely ladies out on the town tonight. Like a fella once said, ain't that a kick in the head? That's a nice invisible gun you got there. Is it invisible to you? I'm I'm sorry. This is a, this is a gun that's only visible to people that are smart. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this prostitute right here. I don't have to pay her for anything, but, you know, free show. Hey, nothing's free, baby. That's good enough for me. Yeah, you can keep staring all you want. I already took all the money out of your wallet. Oh, damn, you got some nimble fingers. Yeah, I do. That's why they call me Nimble Fingers Lisa. Oh, it's on the money, isn't it? <laughs> I don't want to be a creeper, so I'm just going to stand way over here to watch her dance. You're supposed to applaud the strippers, right? That's common courtesy. That's what making it rain is, right? It's a rain of applause? <laughs> Why don't we check out the Ultralux? Haven't we been in there before? We have, but I don't think we've talked to everybody important. Heck, Anderson! My we've name's Heck- that elite units are on the way to support our armies here. Okay. Beg your pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. You ain't seen a young man with dark brown hair and a white hat on lately, have you? Hmm. I... no. I don't think so. Ain't nobody got one darn piece of news about my boy. Not one lousy speck of information. Ain't got one Brahmin unaccounted for across a dozen ranches. But I'm here for an hour and my own son just up and disappears on me. Why is your bodyguard allowed to have a gun? And I'm not. Made me a special arrangement with the hotel. They want to do business with me, they got to play by my rules. A lot of people out there resent success. Might want to take a swipe at me. This makes them think twice. You think a guy with an over-under shotgun is going to discourage people <laughs> from... He might! But about your missing child. He was right here. I didn't leave him but a minute. I told him to stay put while I talked some things over with the white glove folks. He was never one to stay tied down to a spot, though. Gets that from his mother. Got most of my staff out looking for him now. I'd be out myself, but I keep hoping he'll show up back here. Of course, if he does that, I'll whoop him till his skinny hide turns to leather for putting me through this. Good idea. But that don't mean I wouldn't be grateful. We could probably find your son. We're great detectives. I'll do my best to not kill your son. I'd be more than happy to have you. Heck, I'll hire anybody with a pair of legs and at least one good eye at this point. Uh, pardon me, ma'am. I'm looking for Heck Gunderson's Heck Gunderson. <laughs> we probably should have figured out what his first name is. We're looking for some guy. Uh, he, apparently he's got a white hat, which is a very useful description because no one ever changes their appearance. No, nobody ever puts on a hat that's a different color. How may I be of service, sir? You got anything needs to be done? No, not from the likes of you, I'm afraid. Whoa. I don't think you'd have the stomach for it. Better look elsewhere. All right, what can you tell me about your organization? I suppose it is only natural to see us and wonder what it is that makes us special. Nothing. The White Glove Society has only just made itself known to the public, of course. But our pedigree was established over generations. Mm -hmm. Were we always so refined? <laughs> oh I'd be God. lying if I said yes. You asked for this. But I've always felt we were destined for a place atop modern society. And now, here we are. Those cons got the hint. We've shown everyone that these are our new territory. This is a very classy establishment. Everyone here is very refined and very, uh, prim and proper. Those cards got the hit! They got out of our house! Um, are you Marjorie? Are you Marjorie? <laughs> Jesus. We have some questions for I, you! I'm the annoying one here. <laughs> you're, you're really cramping my style right now. Sorry to step on your toes! Hey, Marjorie, look at this coffee mug! I got some questions for you! Welcome to the Ultralux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. It's falling short of my expectations, actually. I'm looking for somebody who went missing recently. This again? I thought this was all settled. I answered every one of that investigator's questions to his satisfaction and gave all the help I could. I know our reputation hasn't always been spotless, but that's all in the past now. How some people can't get over it is beyond me. I'm sorry, investigator? For the last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. It's written in the charter. Whoa, what brought that on unprompted? 
What is this about the White Glove Society eating human flesh? Now, didn't I already tell you that we don't do that sort of thing? We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. Though we haven't always been the White Glove Society. There was another time, a dark time, when we went by a different name. The cannibals? <laughs> but that's all changed now. We've evolved past such base impulses since settling into our new home. I've seen to it that those days are behind us. So you did eat people, but then you changed your name. It's okay. I eat people too. You can tell me the truth. You disgust me. How what? dare you say such a filthy thing in my establishment? I ought to have you arrested. Oof. You'll kindly mind your tongue or we shan't speak any further. Oh, were you about to say, or I'll eat it? <laughs> Zach, you've made a social faux pas by admitting to eating people. I don't actually eat people. I was just trying to get her to say she did. <laughs> Backfired on you. Who'd you talk to about the disappearances? There was an investigator who came through here last week. He'd been hired by a young man whose bride to be went missing during their stay here. Well, you can already guess what probably happened, can't you? It seems perfectly likely that she got cold feet and ran off. Uh huh. And that young groom just didn't have a clue, the poor dear. I'm investigating somebody else. This is a different guy, and he just recently went missing. So that's now two people. Who have gone missing. But we're not sure what the temperature of his feet are. Well, this can't be. Two disappearances in my hotel? What will people say? I'm going to have a word with my staff about security on the premises. Uh-huh. Whether these people are found or not, our guests simply must feel safe in their own rooms. Look, is there any way I can talk to the investigator? I had our maitre d' Mortimer offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied. All right, I'll be back later. Ta-ta. Well, hi there, Mortimer. How may I be of service, sir? Marjorie said you gave a free room to a private investigator. Ah, yes, I remember the gentleman. This was about the missing bride. Such an awful thing. I do hope he finds her whereabouts. If I might pry, have you found something that will help his investigation? Yes, I have some critical information for him. If you head back to the hotel rooms, his will be one floor directly above you after you exit the lobby. I hope we can put this whole matter to rest at last. Yeah, of course we can. Also, what room did you say it was again? If you head back to the hotel rooms, his will be one floor directly above you after you exit the lobby. Look, man, I didn't ask for a fucking logic puzzle. Just tell me what room number it is. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Ah, oh, shit! He's got a matchbook. The following is scrawled across the back of the matchbook. Steam room, 4 p.m. To the bathhouse! Whoa! Naked men! It's raining men! Hallelujah! <laughs> oh, that's where I left my original gun! <laughs> here, you can have this one, too. <laughs> Wait, where'd this one come from? I don't know, there's two of them in here. <laughs> what? Oh! Oh, shoot. Oh, that's gonna take forever to dry. <laughs> I'll assume we got a, we got ambushed by assassins here at one point. <laughs> I think we did. I have vague memories of that. Mike, do you want these marksman carbines or not? Whatever, I don't care. Well, it's four o'clock and no one's shown up. It's brown o'clock. What? It's brown o'clock. I don't know what you mean by that. It's brown o'clock! What is brown o'clock? It's time for me to go make brown. <laughs> Is that a poop joke? It, yes! It's, it's not even a very good one. Ah! Oh! Don't mind me. Just relaxing. <laughs> okay, bye. Is uh, that the person we're supposed to be meeting? <laughs> Come on. Who are you? Just someone who found a matchbook. Matchbook? What about the man I gave it to? He couldn't make it, so he sent me instead. This glorious naked man you see standing before you. The devil he did? He was supposed to meet me days ago. Are you in Mortimer's employ then? I found the matchbook on a body in a hotel room. Oh my goodness me. They must know he was talking to someone on the inside. They'll be watching everyone closer now. I knew this was a mistake. What were you supposed to discuss here then? The girl. The one who disappeared. I know what happened to her. Gasp! How do you know what happened to the girl? Because I distracted her fiancé while they took her. 
Well, I'm not proud of it, but I had to. They could see I was having second thoughts. Some of the white gloves began meeting privately a while back, started talking about how we'd lost our identity. I started attending because I thought it was about changing our politics. Then they started talking about returning to the old ways, and there was no way out. They'd kill me for the things I heard them say. Oh, so they're returning to cannibalism, and uh, you kind of got dragged along for the ride? Crap, I thought they were turning people into robots. This is way less cool. Who are you afraid of? <laughs> Mortimer. If he realizes it was me the investigator was planning to meet, he'll have me killed. Hmm, so Mortimer's behind the disappearances. What a shock. Mortimer and some of the others have regressed to the old ways. They've taken many people over the last few months, but always from freeside or secluded places where they wouldn't be missed. I was wondering what happened to that Rick and Mouse crier. Ooh, that's not a good one to take. <laughs> that kid's violent. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't enough. Lately, they've gone for tourists here on the Strip, even in the hotel. I guess that's the hazard of a cannibal becoming a gourmet. It's hard to please a refined palate. Wait, what about Ted Gunderson? Wait, how do I know what his first name is? <laughs> He's alive, as far as I know. They're trying to keep him fresh. Mortimer has special plans for him. My God. The White Glove Society has a banquet every night at 7. It's in our private section. Mortimer wants to reintroduce humans into our cuisine. Since eating people is a crime we punish by death, he's going to do it in secret. After everyone has eaten it, he'll tell them. With no real way to punish everyone, in Mortimer's mind anyway, their minds will be open to the idea of eating people as a delicacy. Uh, they'll probably just punish Mortimer for the deception. They might, but to him, the legacy of returning to the old ways is worth his own life. I don't think he expects it, though. What a fucking loon. I don't either. Nothing is more important to the society than being on the cutting edge of New Vegas cuisine. Ugh. Mortimer's idea will appeal to that need. He just has to get them over the taboo. Ted's father is a wealthy man. With his resources, this should be easy to stop. I'm sure he can supply you with a bunch of homeless people. He's the sort to pound in a nail with a wrecking ball. If you give him the whole story on this, he'd be liable to raise the entire hotel. And God knows what he'd do to the rest of the strip. Where are they keeping Ted? I don't know exactly. I wasn't in on it. I think some of them have stopped trusting me. But you can bet they're keeping them near the gourmand. Our chef, Philippe, has an obsession with fresh ingredients. Is there anything you can do to help me? I could sponsor you as an honorary member, but I don't know that you've achieved the level of status that would gain the society's approval. Let's plan on meeting again as soon as... Wait, did you hear something? Were you following? Ah, crap. What, like, four, by four people, yeah. What, what the hell? Where, where, hey, where you uh, come from? Excuse me, we were having a conversation there, chump. The ah, oh, son of a bitch. Hmm, guess we're all on our own. He killed this bottle of wine! Oh, My the, God! The innocent bystander! And also, Chauncey is dead. I don't like getting into arguments. The tension makes the air so heavy, it'll break your back. <laughs> yes, Hope, that is true. That was an appropriate response to somebody being murdered. Welcome to the Ultralux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. We have been so impressed by the Ultralux, we wanted to join the White Glove Society. But we were told we would need a sponsor. I'm afraid you are a relative unknown. Oh. Certainly not the caliber of person we would consider for such an honor. If you won't sponsor me for the White Glove Society, I'll make it in myself. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now we have access to the White Glove Society's secret location. Indeed we do! Oh. Oh. Non-members found will be ejected on site, so... Well, I'm a member. I'm probably gonna get seen. You have stealth boys! I do have stealth boys! Woo! Oh god! Oh god! I forgot my stealth boy! Oh god, no! Mike, why do you keep forgetting your damn stealth boy? I don't know! Oh fuck! <laughs> you fell down the shaft! Why can't I figure out how elevator shafts work? You think, uh... Uh... Hmm. Why are you standing still? Do you think the world <laughs> waits for you while you stand there drooling? Get back out there and get to work. Uh... Who do you think you are talking to me that way? Who do... Who the fuck do you think I am? I'm the fucking god of New Vegas Brahmin Fusion Cuisine, that's who. Oh. No, no, that doesn't even give me the credit I deserve. I fucking invented edible food. <laughs> Do you like eating? Good. You owe me your entire goddamn garbage existence. Wow. 
I'll just go back to my job now. <laughs> Don't make eye contact with me. Look at the floor and get back to work. Okay, back to work, sir. Yes, indeed. Back to work. Invisible man going over this way. Anyway, Philippe, how's it going? I thought I told you to get lost. I'm a new honorary member of the White Glove Society. Well, what do you want? I'm very busy here. <laughs> All right. I'm here to talk business. Interested in putting out a cookbook? I happen to be a publisher. What, me? The supreme ruler of the Nevada dining scene? Teach some low-life halfwits how to make food that doesn't smell like burning excrement? Do you think it would sell? <laughs> oh, 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 it'd be huge. I'll advance you 100 caps plus half the gross. Don't get me wrong. I love my job here, but they don't pay me what I'm worth. Too many people skimming off the top. Take these. Should be plenty for a book in there. That's all I'm giving. Don't expect me to write some fancy introduction. One other thing. You mind stepping into the pantry for just a second? Now, why the fuck would I do that? I don't have time for games. Stop wasting my time. Hmm. How can we convince him to go into the pantry? Dad, I just drank a bunch of whiskey. You want to go in the pantry now? Can't you see I'm busy? You screwed up in the head. Yeah. You know why? It gets worse every time some sniveling wet blanket cries about how I need to tiptoe around his precious feelings. Now get the hell out of my sight or I'll bathe your face in the deep fry. <laughs> Good lord, man. I'm just slightly drunk, okay? Uh, oh, oh, Ted's leaving. <laughs> Doubt it. Ted, I need you to go back in there for just a minute. The we'll just close the door real quick. Close All right, Ted's fine. Doubt it. Can you please just go in the pit? Ted, what the fuck? <laughs> Take it back in the pantry! I'm trying to sneak you out! No! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, he's out of the way now. Jeez. <laughs> and into the pantry he goes. All right. And lock it so he can't claw his way out. Brilliant. So nobody can get in. And then we just gotta break the computer. <laughs> there you whoa, whoa. go. Careful. <laughs> Ted, shut up! <laughs> I told you to stay in that room! I don't want to see you out of here! I have to cook now! Oh shit, man, what the fuck am I doing? Oh god, all oh, there is an iguana on a stick in here! Oh, thank god. Uh, improvise uh, a meal of imitation human flesh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There you go, you cooked up some fake meat. And now you can use the intercom to call in the head waiter. Who will distribute that fake meat? Oh boy. How may I assist? Yeah, time to serve the meal, buddy. I I sure am Philippe. Yes, sirree. I'm Philippe. At once. Oh, okay. I got to really ask any questions. <laughs> so now he's going to come in here. Oh, wait. You're, uh... Oh, God, I'm not Philippe. <laughs> he's going to notice. Oh, God. oh, no. Oh, no. No. Uh -huh. No, I'm Philippe. I'm Philippe, head waiter. <laughs> Philippe does this, right? That's what you get for being a dick, head waiter. Son of a bitch. How the fuck am I going to deal with this? Dinner's ruined. It's a fucking bloodbath. Ted, are you still in there? Get back in that room! Okay, I'm hitting the rewind time button now. Oh shit. Okay, okay. I hear the great concert. Shut up, shut up, Ted, shut Canyon. up! I always thought the NCR and them would fight it out again. Be quiet! Don't you go out that door, Ted. Don't you go out that door. found you. What? I heard you yelling. What the fuck? God damn it, Ted! <laughs> well, uh... All right, Mike, fire up the rewind time machine again. This thing's getting hot. <laughs> this thing's getting hot. Oh, my God. Looks like the war is wrapping up. <laughs> yes? Is it over? Ted, don't go out there! Jesus Christ! I think he took the meal! He took it! Over here! Oh shit! Are you kidding me? You shouldn't have yelled! Fuck! God damn it, head waiter! <laughs> Fourth time is the charm. Oh my god. Oh, wow, that thing is hot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Shh, 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 shh. Those fiend junkies Shut over at Dead 3 been. Fuck. <laughs> 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 
Now Ted can't get out. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. All right. Dude. Did he take it? <gasps> he took it. He took it, and he's not shooting at us this time. I think we're good. <laughs> you. What do you think you're doing? Uh, oh. oh, yeah, the uh, water main burst upstairs. They sent me down here to repair the damage. I don't know why I'm talking like this. That's not what my voice sounds like. <laughs> Curse it all. Your timing couldn't be more atrocious. Just make it quick, all right? Of course. Idiot. Hey, howdy. let's get the hell out of here. My daddy's going to kill all you bastards once he finds out what you've done to me. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm here to get you out of here. My daddy sent you? God damn it. I almost died in here. You're in your 30s. Why are you calling your father daddy? <laughs> because he's a spoiled, pampered brat. Weirdo. Who did this to me anyway? They hit me over the head before I got a look at him. There's no time to explain. We need to go right now. All right, fine. I'm right behind you. Let's go. All right. All right, Ted, you're going to have to keep your head down and be quiet, okay? Which he's so good at doing that, too. I know oh, I'm not yeah. the schedule speaker, just, but Ted, I have no. a few words, if I may. There was a time not so long ago when we were bound together not as members, but as family. Alright, we'll let him do his speech. As a clan. And when Mr. Marjorie, go away! Marjorie, please leave! Why you have a wrench? The, the fuck? Lunch. You are sampling that very dish. The meat we are forbidden to taste. The way it was meant to be eaten. What a taste of gaming! Fellow members of the White Glove Society. Bon appetit. This kind of tastes like a drunk man mixed it in a kitchen. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> -ha! It is not me human meat, for Ted is right there! What the? Who is this trespasser? Bad news, Mortimer! No one's eating the boy you kidnapped tonight! Why is he there? Who are we eating right now? Sorry, Mortimer. Secret recipe. It isn't human, though. I can tell you that. No! These are lies. I never kidnapped anyone. And even if I did, there's no harm done. He's alive, after all. Too late, Mortimer. You've already said too much. You're all hypocrites. How can you claim to be connoisseurs yet deny yourselves the greatest of all meats? I am ashamed to have once called everyone here family. This isn't over, though. I'll begin anew. The White Glove Society will never achieve the greatness of my new order. You'll all hear from me again. Oh, will we now? Okay. Oh, are you sure? You sure about that, Mortimer? You sure about that? Because I don't think so. Oh. Whoa, whoa, careful. Uh, I think he got away. Uh, did you guys see a jerk? There he is! There he is! Get him! Get him! Careful not to hit the person behind her. Jesus. Got him! You also grazed the patron, I think. No, 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 no. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We're fine. Don't, nobody panic, nobody panic, it's okay, this guy was a cannibal. That one lady's panicking, but it's okay, <laughs> one out of however many guests are in here. Uh, alright, everybody... Good stacking up on the door, though. Uh, seriously, I've trained you well. That's, <laughs> that's a great tactical stack we got going on there. Yeah, <laughs> though, you're I think... gonna need a steam pack for that. Are you wielding Stanley? We had now. <laughs> it's no, fine. No one panic, it's fine. Nobody panic, my gun is put away, it's fine. No, okay. Looks like uh didn't go so smoothly. Oh, it was just that one gambler. It's oh, fine. Okay, well he owed us some money. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> we were bounty hunting that gambler. <laughs> Tell me good news. <laughs> oh, uh, the, the good news is we're still hung over. Also, Ted's been kidnapped. He's here? Bless you. I thought he was a goner for sure. Listen, you do what you gotta do to find him. I'd send my men with you. But I'm worried they'd kill Ted if we got close. Ugh. Uh, no, we already rescued him. Yeah, he's fine. He... Where the hell did he go? <laughs> oh, 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 wait. Aw, oh, crap. Where is Ted? Yo, Ted! <laughs> Let's fucking go, man! <laughs> yeah? Ted! <laughs> Zach. What? Just use the rescue gun. Oh, God. The NCR took back Nelson. Shut up, Ted! <laughs> <laughs> All right, now he's been hey. rescued. Oh, you, you're brandishing a weapon. No, now they're shooting at you. I put it away, I put it away. <laughs> 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 no.
no. Oh, God. I just can't win. <laughs> Heck Gunderson's dead. Oh, no. Heck Gunderson's bodyguard is... He saw me with a gun and was like, yeah, we're going. <laughs> and you got your boss killed, Gunderson hired hand. <laughs> nice work. Now nobody gets paid. <laughs> And you've been rescued. <laughs> yes, and your father is dead. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Probably great, oh, right? Oh, look how happy he is. <laughs> right. Oh, I got to see my son before I died. Let me look at you. <laughs> Let me look at you with my dying breath. <laughs> oh, you always were a little fuck. <laughs> oh, I, oh, God, I'm so tired. I want you to know before I die. Son! I thought you were great. Thumbs up. <laughs> hold, hold my hand as I die. Dad's dead, Ted. You know, if you knew what you were doing, I could have been out of there hours ago. <laughs> what an ass! You fucking prick! Well, that was beyond the beef, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> no, go, okay, no! You're, you're not getting paid for this, you know! I've heard the Legion's planning to unleash their for best God men against sake. us. <laughs> no! Just turned this into the end of a Quentin Tarantino movie. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm still laughing about it. It's so stupid. <laughs> Just everything went so wrong. <laughs> Ted wouldn't stop leaving the refrigerator. It's <laughs> father is dead. <laughs> it's just like, I would have been out of here hours ago if you just 